another one. Another one. Yes. Okay, that's the move. George Bay is the move. He's a good one. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Yo, what is up everybody? How we doing today? Man, this is a wonderful day out today, man. It is sunny. It's a little windy, but it is a nice day. I don't know how many more days like this we're going to have here in Oklahoma. It's it's about to be in colder months. It's November now. Um, yeah, so I got to get out here and take advantage of it. I just recently started a new job, which I start Monday, and it is a long, long week type of job. I'm talking 10, 12 hours a day. Uh, five six days a week so um, I'm not gonna have a whole lot of time of fishing to do so just mopping my last opportunity to get some real good fishing in so I'm gonna spend today and tomorrow out here and it's a great great weather for the weekend so let's uh, be thankful for that yeah so what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to uh, do a little bit of multi multi species fishing I got cat poles and I got bass poles I'm gonna do some cut bait some live bait and then my then my lures um, I'm not gonna promise anything. I haven't had very much luck as far as catfish out here, but I know there's big ones in here. Well, they were in here. I don't know if people caught them and ate them or what the deal is there, but I'm gonna try to catch some catfish. I'm gonna try to do some bass fishing. And, um, well, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time to get any more fishing in, so um, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get right to it. All right, guys, so, since I'm doing catfishing, I brought the, uh, I brought the old live bait bucket and I brought uh, my cast net. I quit trying to just, I quit trying to catch it. This is not a uh, food chain challenge, so I'm going to go straight, straight to the old cast net. Like I said, I'm going to do a little bass fishing, so I'm going to go over here and throw this in the area that I will not be fishing, or at least not. For a minute right here's where i'm gonna go i'm gonna record yes sir all right guys well as usual my battery died so y'all didn't see me toss or anything but i got i got one two three four like five nice size bluegill in there if you can see it five nice size bluegill and i've got three different cat pole setups here um i'm not gonna go through them too long to explain these setups because I've, I've done it before now uh, let's go a quick run down okay this right here is a santi rig weight go on the bottom and the uh, float to bring it just off the bottom that way you won't get hung up in the bottom debris whatever might be in the bottom on this rig i got a uh, simple carolina rig hooked up i'm going to put on a circle hook on this at the moment i have a treble hook on there because i was using um candy for my candy uh video that i did the other day without luck and on this one, this is a this is like a um, an actual drop shot rig. I like to use a drop shot rig set up with the no, it's not a drop shot. This is a um, uh, I forget what it's called. But anyways, on this one, it's gonna be for my live bait. This is gonna be for live bait. Bottom, hold the fish up a little bit. So since I'm since since I'm using live bait on this, I'm not gonna cut anything. I'm gonna go ahead and dig in here and get this fish out. Let's see why this water is cold. They're a little bit slick. All right, and this is a nice little bee tiny one, a nice size for the live live bait. Some people like to go through the to the mouth, some go to the back. I actually prefer to go through the nose because, as you see, when his spikes are stood up like that, and the hook is coming through, I mean, there's not. There's not a whole lot of room to get that hook. So I usually like to go to the front. But I'm going to go ahead and go to the tail because this guy's so little. There we go. And a lot of, guy, a lot of these guys, when they do these YouTube channels, when they, when they do this, they don't tell you to make sure that there's no scale on the tip of that hook. Because that could really affect your hookup ratio. Okay? So that's what that's going to look like. Let's go ahead and get that guy out there. I'm gonna put this guy right here on this one. I also got a 60 pound braid with a 20 pound mono on the leader. Got him out there. 
Okay. All right, on the next two, I'm going to uh, do cut bait. And I'm just going to go ahead and put you on pause while I do that. I'll see you when I get rigged. All right, guys. I'm back. On this one, I set it up with the, uh, with the head. This one is straight 20-pound uh, mono. And I've got uh, the tail on this one. And I've got this one set with, uh, it's got 60 pound braid with a 20 pound mono leader as well. I'm just gonna toss this one out this other direction here. There we go. So now our cat pulls out there, ready to go. Um, now while we do that, I do a little catfishing. Alright y'all, I've uh, relocated, I got cut bait, live bait, cut bait. I'm going to try this little, I guess that is a bass colored little jerk bait. Came in last month's uh, Monster Bass box, I'm not sure uh, what brand it is, I forgot it already. Let's hope it does this, we can catch this fish. I think the catfish just don't want to bite. I'm starting to think they're just taking, they're eating all the catfish out of here. Cause I was catching like crazy last year. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, I got one. Good, that's a bite. That's a bite for sure, y'all. Yeah, there it goes. That's a bite. Ah. Ah, dang it. It's funny, cause I was just saying the bass, the catfish aren't biting. And I just prematurely yanked it right of his mouth. Dang it, okay. Well, I 100% just lied about the catfish not biting. Although that wasn't quite, that might have been a turtle. Oh, I got one. Oh, y'all see that? <laughs> okay. Got one finally on that jerk bait. Dang, he can't find out the water, y'all. It was just sitting in the water while I was fooling with the uh, catfish pole. Oh my god, he is cold. Okay, there he is. He's a little bloody, but it's because I hit him in his tongue, or I don't know why he's bleeding. Jerk bait fish. That was awesome when he came flying out the water like that. He's gone. Alright. Alright, that was my first ever jerk bait fish. You know it was on the little miniature one. Alright. You know it was after I had it, it was just sitting there for the longest while I was messing with the cat pole, so so I'm just gonna just uh gonna say it needs a longer pause. Oh, I got another one. Another one. Yes. Okay, that's the move. The jerk bait is the move. He's a good one. Oh, yeah, he's a good one. The jerk bait is the move, y'all. That's the move. The jerk bait. Wow, he's a. Just let him calm down. Let him calm down. Keep pressure. Okay, jerk bait is the move. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. This is this is a little behemoth here. Oh yes. Oh I got a bite on that on this cat paw too. Well that's a big old hit with my cat paw. Oh jeez, 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 jeez. Okay, the cat paw is done. Wow! Wow! They're biting there. Yo, this is a this is a behemoth. This guy's this guy's eating y'all. Bohemoth, bohemoth. That is. <laughs> oh my god! Not even five minutes after I just caught the other one, the jerk bait is what they want. They want the jerk bait. Oh yes, yes. This guy. Okay. And I just had a huge hit on my cat pole too. It might be a fish on that. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a look. Okay. Oh, this guy is heavy. He's heavy. Oh my gosh. Oh, this could be a new PB. This could be the six I'm looking for, y'all. Y'all, I might not have heavy, ever even a cot guy if I didn't switch over to that jerk bait. Look at that behemoth. Am I even in the frame here? Look at that bohemian. Look at the belly. He's big. Oh my gosh. Alright. Let's get a weight on this guy. Oh my goodness. I am so... I am so excited right now. Okay, let's, uh, let's zero this thing out. Okay, it's a four ounce thing. Okay. This guy is an absolute tank. 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 Okay, it's a five four uh, Five pound four ounce. It's not a PB. It's not the six I was looking for. Okay. Let's let her go. Let's let her go. Wow, y'all. I've been waiting for a big fish like this for a minute. <clears throat> Breathing. Breathing, girl. There she goes. Off into the sunset. So I'm talking about the jerk bait. That's what they want. That's what they want. Right when I caught that, I had a huge, a huge slam on this pole. Let's see if there might be something going here still, or let's see what's the deal with this one. This thing, you know, this is my live bait pole. Something absolutely slammed this. Oh, it slammed it and took the it took it took the fish. It completely took that guy. All right, so dang y'all, <laughs> something came and absolutely hammered this while I was dealing with that big old bohemoth, and it straight took straight took my fish off of here. This is turning out to be quite the good day. Okay, I still got one bluegill left. Oh yeah, this guy's lively. Uh. Tell you what, there's there's nothing better than to finally figure out what the fish want. It's like catching them with it, man. Okay, I've caught two right right in here on that same jerk bait. So I'm gonna keep on throwing this jerk bait. It's a little jerk bait too. I've been throwing the bigger ones out here with no look. This is this is what this is what caught that moss right here. Oh look at that! Look at that! I got, I got one again. Oh, y'all see that? Oh, I got something. Oh, I got one. Yeah, I got. I just threw this one in. <laughs> uh, what is it? Another. <laughs> okay. Y'all, it is a. Uh, it is dinner time. Or lunch, whatever. Another one. I just threw this in the water, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's not a catfish. Oh, but it's another bohemoth. Are you kidding me? Yo. Yo, look at that. Another fat, fat Sally. 
what the I just yo I, I just threw it in, I just threw it in the water right oh my god <laughs> all right let's get let's get away from this guy <laughs> but this girl oh my gosh I don't know what it's lunch time it's lunch time they're eating they are absolutely eating right now this guy's gonna be about four pounds well that's gonna be four and a half Oh no, he's just under four. He's 315. 315. 315. Call it which one? I call that a four. Alright. There you go. That's two. <laughs> That's nine pounds worth of fish in less than five minutes. Part of me wants to throw the cast in it so I can get some of my bluegill. The other part of me wants to just get this. Jerk bait going, so I'm gonna go with the jerk bait. They're out here eating right now, so it's uh, I want I'm looking for a six. Yo, that's three bass. Three bass in like 30 minutes. I don't think it's a coincidence that they all start biting just now. They're eating right now. I'm gonna work the area, maybe they're all eating everywhere. Oh no. Oh, got one, got one. <laughs> yo, yo, they are eating. They are eating. They are freaking eating right now. That's four in 15, 20 minutes. Yo, I'm killing it right now, y'all. Uh, I'm going to just carry my scale and my carry this with me because they're just, they're eating right now. This jerkbait came in clutch today, y'all. I don't know if I would have caught any fish if I hadn't. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's smaller than the rest. But nonetheless, it's another fish to add to the, uh, add to my bag. I almost got a full bag. Okay. I told you I'd move around because they're, they're biting. So I got, I'm going to go all around this area. Okay, let's, uh, let's get loose this guy right here. Okay, all right, y'all. When, when, when they turn on, they turn on. You just gotta make sure you start throwing. They all just came out shallow. To be quite honest with y'all, I was about to, I was about to give up and just go home, cause it's the the Sooners are playing. They're about to start. Like the kickoff's about to start. Kick off. Truth be told, I think we're playing Kansas, so that's gonna be a blowout. So I'd rather catch fish than watch a blowout football game, especially if they're biting. Okay, I think I might. I think the bite might be over. You know, sometimes it just, sometimes they just come in and just, it's like a dinner bell rings and they all come out and eat. And then just like that, they're done. I just happen to be throwing right when it happens. Looks like I got something, y'all, on this one. I do. Oh yeah, uh, okay. I did get a catfish. <laughs> okay. Wow, okay. Um, it's funny because I, I was actually packing up y'all and I was leaving and I actually did my outro array. Um, that's a foolish mistake. But there's a, there's a catfish. That's crazy. He actually broke someone off because there's a hook in his mouth. So the catfish was after, but there's a catfish. I had to do update on my dang outro. What the heck, y'all? So, all right, let's let it go. Okay, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video, which just happened to be an absolute banger. <laughs> Five total fish today. I landed the catfish. It wasn't the big channel I was looking for. It was a nasty bullhead, but it was a catfish. Um, I landed four bass, two nice bass. A five pounder and a four pounder. And two two pounders. So you add that up, that's five nine, 
13 pounds of bass and four fish. That was, that's excellent. <laughs> Plus a two pound hello catfish I got. That's uh, 15 pounds worth of fish today. That's, uh, that's just excellent. <laughs> you gotta give me a like for that, y'all. Please, hit me with a like. That was an epic day. But if you end up liking this video, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you know when I'm dropping more videos because I'm always catching fish. That's just what I do. <laughs> it's about to be trout season, so I'm gonna start doing trout, trout fishing here real soon. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get out here. You have a nice day. Until next time, peace.